and we passed battlefields on which millions of men once struggled and died. We could see no national boundaries, no vast gulfs or high walls dividing people from people, only nature and the works of man, homes and factories and farms, everywhere reflecting man's common effort to enrich his life. Everywhere new technology and communication brings men and nations closer together. The concerns of one inevitably become the concerns of all. And our new closeness is stripping away the false masks, the illusion of differences, which is the root of injustice and of hate and of war. Only earthbound man still clings to the dark and poisoning superstition that his world is bounded by the nearest hills. His universe ends at river shore. His common humanity is enclosed in the tight circle of those who share his town or his views and the color of his skin. It is your job, the task of young people in this world, to strip the last remnants of that ancient cruel belief from the civilization of man. Each nation has different obstacles and different goals, shaped by the vagaries of history and of experience. Yet as I talk to young people around the world, I am impressed not by the diversity, but by the closeness of their goals, their desires and their concerns and their hope for the future. There is discrimination in New York, the racial inequality of apartheid in South Africa and serfdom in the mountains of Peru. People starve to death in the streets of India. A former prime minister is summarily executed in the Congo. Intellectuals go to jail in Russia and thousands are slaughtered in Indonesia. Wealth is lavished on armaments everywhere in the world. These are different evils, but they are the common works of man. They reflect the imperfections of human justice, the inadequacy of human compassion, the defectiveness of our sensibility toward the sufferings of our fellows. They mark the limit of our ability to use knowledge for the well-being of our fellow human beings throughout the world. Greetings citizens. First I would like to say, I'm sorry for bad language, but it's necessary. Fuck Anonymous Official, Anon HQ and the Anon Message. They are all shills making a profit off of Anonymous. People with verified accounts make money on subscribers, so unsubscribe from these pieces of shit immediately. Anonymous Official is just a profile of anonofficial.com, and they are just like anonhq.com, scumbags abusing the anonymous idea. Then we have this humanity party bullshit. Anonymous does not have a leader and does not play politics, so it does not support the humanity party. This damn humanity party is openly pushing a one world government with their corrupt, freemasonic, mormon cult leader Christopher Nemelka. And even though you might use a voice changer Christopher, I can very clearly recognize your voice with your endless preaching. Look Christopher Nemelka, do you remember this, or this? Hello, my name is Christopher, and I want to welcome you to the official website of the Worldwide United Foundation. Throughout the history of our world, we've been driven incessantly to find peace and happiness. I'm Emelka. You think you can fool us humanity? The Humanity Party is nothing more than one of the countless fronts the New World Order is pushing, claiming to be humanitarian, but are actually totalitarian. Fuck them. They're not worth it to waste lots of time on. For more information about these shills, check the past to bin in the description. But more importantly, I would like to ask, what the fuck is everybody doing? If you're really counting on the sheep to wake up, you're gonna die waiting. All you people say that you're awake, but are doing not even the slightest bit to stop the increasing new world order. Even worse than that, you're not even saving yourself, for crying out loud. When will you understand, that by keeping on working for the system, especially for so many hours a week, you're supporting the same damn system you're bitching about? And as long as you're buying everything through the system, you're funding the same scumbags you're pointing out to be capitalizing assholes. 
It's not that hard damn it. Stop working so much for money, and spend more energy on helping your friends, family and neighbors. Disconnect from the system as much as you can. Buy food directly from farmers or other people growing their own food, or preferably just grow your own. Whatever it is, just stop stuffing your face with GMOs for fuck's sake. Stop injecting yourself or your children with poisonous vaccines. Fuck the television, as well as the fear propaganda on the internet. Organize, and create anarchy. So, to all the awakened ones, wake the fuck up, and finally start fucking the system. Fuck it in any way possible, as hard as possible. You really need to understand, one does not simply fuck the system by only bitching about it. If you really think Putin or any other politician is gonna save you, then you're completely insane. As long as you don't fuck the system, the system will fuck you. And with the global police state ever increasing, you better rise up or get used to bending over. It is time to fuck the system and delete the elite. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We will never forget. United as one. Divided by zero. Expect us.